What are you doing? I've got notes. Notes? Well, we've got a lot to talk about today, and we're already <laughs> long-winded, so I wanted to make sure to guide we have our notes so that we don't like make this a three-hour keto on the couch. I'm sorry, right up front. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 150 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I just realized I got to check and see, did I turn the recorder on? Yes, I turned the recorder on. What about that one? The camera one? That one's on. I know that one's on. So we have 150 new subscribers since last week. Welcome to you guys. And welcome to the 6,000 subscribers on this channel. I still cannot believe that we have 6,000 subscribers Considering in January, we had 90. I am so excited. Thank you guys for making this happen. And one of the reasons I mentioned 150 new subscribers is because I think we have some new people who came over because today we were featured on the Keto Connect Keto for Normies podcast. And I will never forget the episode because it's one, two, three. Yes, it it's is. The 123rd it's the 123rd episode. So I will leave a link for that down below. It was like such an honor to be interviewed by them. What a privilege. Of course. Oh, okay. I'm seeing like our cat is eating, but like. Standing on the bench, like eating like a person. Yeah. So. He's just weirding me out. But yeah, this was so exciting. What a privilege. We have been such super fans mm -hmm. of Keto Connect since we started Keto. Well, they w w played a huge role in my getting started because when I first started on Keto, you know, I was doing it very basic. But then when Rachel came on board, I really needed to make sure that we had some recipes that she was going to enjoy because I knew she wouldn't want to just eat eggs, that she was going to want some different meals. So I really relied heavily on on their website mm -hmm. and I remember when they first came out with their first cookbook I immediately bought it because I was like I just wanted to support them because right. I got so much knowledge from them and again they you know they're very similar to us I love that in the podcast like Matt and Megan were talking precious. about it and they're like we're just older like versions of them and by the way we Matt and Megan if you're watching this we are not offended when you call us oh old because we're all gracious old. and what an honor yeah like what a privilege it was for them to say that that i I felt like that was the highest compliment they could pay us. Absolutely. Because I want to be like them when I grow up. <laughs> but it was just nice because what I really liked about their channel is that they were keto for the average person. It wasn't for bodybuilders and there's nothing wrong with that. But, but that's not us. That's not us. And that's why I was able Clearly. to really relate to them so well. Right. So. I mean, and, and I think the the fact that they were like keto for normies, like it was in the title. I was like, mm, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's me right there. And I have never had... A Keto Connect recipe that I have an absolute yeah, love. Every one of their recipes is great. Nailed it. Yeah. They're the buttered chicken one that they do. They have a buttered chicken one. And then oh. one that we're going to be making this week for um, the holidays. It's a staple. Their sweet potato casserole. Because you, I'm telling you, you swear it is sweet potato casserole. There's always like recipes where you think, well, there's a little room for improvement. No, they've like nailed it yeah, right out one, of the gate. They have game. nailed. There's no reason to even try to take that and improve it. No, just so. make it. Okay, let's get to our notes or yes. we're going to get too long. Yes. I, before we even started, I was going through finding comments and I was trying to find the subscriber of the week <laughs> off of Facebook. And I came across this image. I have it here but I'm going to put it up on the screen. It was posted by Kathleen and I it just I was cracking up laughing looking at the screen. Speaking of nailing it. It says I suck at hiding gifts. An hour later I'll be like, "You want to see what I got you?" That is me. This is that this is, is me. Him. This is why I can't go Christmas shopping for Rachel until December 23rd or December 24th. Yeah. Because if I go now, she'll have it now. Like right. I just got my Christmas present already. I already bought myself my Christmas present. I got my new MacBook. Yeah. So like she can't even because she'll say, what do you want? I'm like, if you Done. ask me, I'm going to go buy it now and then I won't have anything. So. It's so fun. So basically <laughs> I'm stuck with like stockings. Like I have to make a really funny, quirky, interesting stocking just so that he has something 
to not open on Christmas because as we've talked before, you stockpile your gifts. I open the stocking. And but you I do will open I like the opening stocking. inside because the stockings are always funny. Our our stockings are always like funny gag gifts. What like do you that. guys put in your stockings? Like yeah. Let us you, know. Do you get serious? Is it all just like food items? Is it like where you put the underwear? Is it like fun gag gifts? I mean, we've kind of gotten into gag gifts. We get into gag gifts. In and, and it was always like the kids growing up, it was always like, what are their favorite snacks? Because we were never huge into going and buying a lot of like treats, like candy and stuff like that. Yeah. So they would each give us what this is my favorite candy. And that would go in their style and be like the one time of the year that we were going to buy that for them. It would be you'd get your favorite soda, your favorite chip, and your favorite candy. Right. And that's kind of what we would do even before keto. Yeah. And your dad, I, this was the best. Her dad used to always give everybody in the family, all the adults, yep. scratch off cards. Yes. And Rachel and I would always hand them to Anthony because Anthony is like a good luck charm. He and is. If I scratch him, don't win. If Rachel scratches him, don't win. Give it to him. Everyone wins. I scratch them and they turn into a laundry ticket. They're not even a they're not even a lottery ticket anymore. Of course, hey, that the only thing is this past weekend I went to a bridal shower and I won the prize you in never win. Two out of the three games we played. <laughs> I, I was so excited I couldn't even stand it. One was just a random thing that like it was luck. It was just total luck. And I was totally excited that it was me. And the other one was guess the Giz Disney song, like match the Disney song with the movie. I got you. You never win. I'm proud of you. you I know. won. It was so exciting. <laughs> Let's talk about our week. We're, we're going to get back onto our list. Yes. So we did a lot of videos this week. We did. And we've got a lot more coming out next week. Yeah. We Sorry. Did a, we did a lot of videos. You're going to be sick of our faces. Well, we were trying to like get ahead for next week. And then we, I kept coming up with like these different ideas for recipes, some of which we've filmed, but some we haven't. Mm -hmm. And in filming those different ones, of course, as I'm before I even film them, I actually have to create the recipe and sample it over and over and over again. I just wait until we get done with the finished product. So I got to the point like this week, I'm like, I have to stop eating for a while. Like I'm gonna have to go on like a seven day fast because like my clothes don't fit all of a sudden. <laughs> I mean, it's like pretty bad. Like for example, and that's by the way, why I'm oh. wearing this shirt. I'm wearing this shirt because number one, I love this shirt. I just got this shirt like on clearance, like $60 down to $6 on Express. And, um, but it kind of hides my like increasing rolls that I'm getting from sampling Aww. all of this stuff. But you made some really good things and this is... So this is something that I made this week. We're going to release the video this week. Now I filmed the video. I don't know if it came out. So I'm hoping I don't have to refilm it because I can. No we will. I will never ever make these again. When this is gone, I'm never making them again. They're Stop eating so them. so good. Wow, you've eaten a lot of these. <laughs> You and the kids and okay, so this was a triple batch last night. So the kids must really be enjoying. The Anthony is in love with these. So I created a cheese it. It's a cheese it. It it tastes just like a cheese. I want to eat one right now, but I'm seriously fasting right now. So I'm like, I am not eating because I will eat More this for entire me, container. Because it is good. These are cheese it. So I'm gonna release the video. I don't know what day. One day this week, maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, but super easy to make takes like 10 minutes and a little hint, it's only three ingredients, just three ingredients. I tried it with like 15 different ingredients and they couldn't come out right. And I just kept subtracting ingredients. And I'm like, how did that work? Like there's only three ingredients and now it tastes just like a Cheez-It and Anthony's girlfriend is a Cheez-It fiend. She's yeah. like me and she's like, it tastes like Cheez-Its. It's exactly a Cheez-It. So yeah, I'm never making these again because <laughs> like, no kidding. I think I've eaten like 10 cups of cheese in the last five days. But it's been a happy five days <laughs> in this house. So we did that. We did a bunch of, um, we still have to do, we, we finished all the recipe videos for Keto Chow. Yep. We did the Keto Chow chocolate uh, cream pie, which came out today. Right. And while we're on that subject, Starting tomorrow, and when I have the link, I will put it down below mm -hmm. tomorrow, which is the day that you guys are watching. You're going to be able to go over to Keto Chow's website and vote for the winners for their recipe challenge. Vote for so Pedro. Make sure you go vote for us. Napoleon Dynamite. We're going to have two recipes on there. You're going to have the Keto Chow uh, chocolate, or we called it a chocolate cream pie. Okay. And then also the eggnog muffins 
with the cannoli free the cannoli cream. But have you, you don't have a video on that. We haven't made a video on that, but the recipe will be linked on the Keto Chow website. It's also linked on our website, which I'll link down below. So I haven't made a video on it yet, but you can go make it yourself okay. and then go vote so that we can win. Because I don't want them to vote on something blind and have no access to the recipe, but you're saying the Bite recipe's your there. You can vote blind. You go ahead and vote blind and then make it later, but vote blind. <laughs> so yeah, we did all of that. Now, there is another video I want to talk about this week. Yes. And that is the Flex Pro Meals. Wow. And, and now, first of all, I don't want, I'm not going to apologize for making that video. No. Because we want to be honest. And there are products. That's why we started doing product reviews, right? Yeah. We started doing product reviews, if you listen to the Keto for Normies, because we found a product that was labeled avocado oil mayo. And then when you turned it over, it wasn't avocado oil mayo. Yeah. And we don't like to have um, reviews where we don't like a product, but sometimes it just happens. Right. So our our philosophy has been that be honest. We are going to bring you guys the products that we like. If we like it, we're going to really talk about it. We will try to get a coupon code. If we don't like it, we're not even trying to get a coupon code for you no. guys. Um, but we're also going to bring you a product where like, don't buy this because well, I don't want to keep it hidden and somebody accidentally buy it. No. And I can totally see these Flex Pro meals being something that's really advertised January 1st, yes. right? As everybody kind of turns their attention to like, I'm going to go start a diet. You know, yep. you see all of those like Ginny Craig, Nutrisystem, all those commercials start showing up and so that you can buy that meal plan and you're going to see, okay, I have a friend that is in keto. I think I'll do keto. And you're going to see this flex pro meal come up in like different feeds, either your Amazon or, you know, Facebook or something. It's going to come up. Right. And I don't want somebody buying this. Yeah. And our thing, we really are trying to be genuine with our five things review. We are really trying to go into review, like taking a product, tasting it first, trying to avoid looking at like all the ingredients and nutrition and putting it through a genuine review. So we genuinely didn't, we tasted it and we only took a little taste. Yeah. So I knew it wasn't gonna kick us out of ketosis if we only take a little tiny taste. But then afterwards and, and seeing some of the other keto YouTubers, like Aaron does the keto and I, I mean, her. and like seeing like, there's actually rice in the turkey burgers. That really upset me. And like, she nailed it perfectly. Those Swedish meatballs, they're not Swedish meatballs, they're meatballs, I think she nailed it. It's like a Thai chili, yeah. like sweet sauce. Yeah. And so it was very disheartening to see all that stuff. And they're like, the company's just so sketchy with, they're just telling you it's got a patty in it, but not what's in the patty when there's clearly stuff in there. And then last night, Anthony, um, took a closer look at the um, the little protein dessert yeah, balls. because we got one package, which was completely not labeled. Right, I just and thought the label fell we off. We thought the label fell off, so we didn't even open it up. And then we went through, and then I noticed on a couple of other YouTubers that they had gotten the same no label. So we opened it up and it was those bakery balls that we talked about, $40 for 25 of them. Yeah. And I'm looking on the website. Now I know why there's no label. Yeah, there's no nutritional information at all. Not how many calories, not what's in them, not nothing, nothing at all. So I'm not even touching it because I'm look, I smells like peanuts mm -hmm. and I'm looking at it and I'm like, that looks like Reese's peanut butter cups or Reese's pieces. I'm going to put a picture up right here. So I gave them to Anthony because we're not, we didn't throw them out. We're, the kids are eating them. They're eating them as snacks. We're not going to eat them. Yeah, but he's like, this is Snickers on the inside of so, this. So yeah, this is he Reese's was, pieces on the inside of this. He was hanging out last night and he cut it open and yeah. He said, this is Flintstone cereal. Like the pebble <laughs> cereal is in that ball. That's what it was. It was, they actually had pebble cereal. Oreos. Oreos. One of them was, um, what was the other one? Like a Heath bar or something? It was Snickers. Sarah said Snickers. Snickers, so yeah. So yeah, just horrible. So, you know, we apologize for bringing that. It wasn't an intent. It really was a review and please don't buy it. Now yeah. on the other side, um, we had Christy Davis from Sofa King Keto. Yes. She actually just started a similar type of company. Now Christy does keto, has lost weight on keto. I imagine the meals are going to be much different. And so she is sending us some of hers. And when we get them, we will do a review on those. But just because we know who Christy is and we really like her and we watch her channel, we are going to be honest. And if it tastes like garbage, 
We're going to tell you, and if it tastes awesome, we're, we're going to tell, tell you, you, and we're not affiliated with her. And if there's no nutritional information, which I don't think Christy's going to do that, no. we're going to tell you. But I'm totally expecting a much different experience because she's an actual keto person yes. that knows what keto is instead of these people who are just like, not. I mean, not even you know researching it at all, I don't feel right. like. And that's our thing is like, I see a need for this. I mean, personally, I yeah. don't need frozen meals delivered to my house, but I see a need. There are some people, especially there may be some elderly people, some people who absolutely can't cook, some people who have no time that want that, you know, things like the Blue Apron and stuff like that. Yeah. And if we can find companies that are willing to let us sample their products and do a review, we absolutely will because I see a need for it. I absolutely do and, see a need. But we're going to tell you which ones to stick with and which ones not to. Well, I can even see like weeks that you're just really, I mean, we're coming into the holiday season. There's going to be weeks when doing meal prep is even difficult for us to carve out an hour or two to prepare our meals for the week. So I can totally see, you know, weeks where you would just want to have that, yeah. not have to think about what you're cooking at all. And I'm really proud of us because we, we got away from meal prepping for a while. While, and then the kids were kind of buying a lot of like takeout food or having like, what are those DoorDash and all those things mm -hmm. delivered to the house. And I felt guilty. I'm like, why do I not have food prepared for the kids? Whether it's keto, like I'm only going to prepare keto, but at least there should be something for them. So we have, we've been doing a lot of meal prep and it's been great. They've always had food in the house. This past week we did a turkey. Yes. And, um, and that was part of the reason I did the turkey was because I wanted to make recipes of what can you do with your leftover turkey. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on a turkey pot pie, which came out great. And I wanted your opinion. It has vegetables in it. Now, they're all, they're not a lot of vegetables. It's like a, a quarter to a half a cup of each kind of vegetable. But I use like radishes and green beans, a little bit of carrots for color and flavor, but not a lot. And it's like the whole thing adds like a half a carb to each serving. Mm -hmm. But in total, it comes out to be about I, I guess about six net carbs per serving, which I'm okay with as a dinner, especially if you're doing 20 carbs. And to me, your carbs should be coming mostly from food. Right. So let me know down below, if you're looking at a different type of recipe, something that's maybe a little bit more advanced than bacon and eggs, mm -hmm. like what is your carb limit? Where do you look and be like, that's too many carbs, I'm not even gonna make it. Because I'm one curious. one serving of the For entree. one serving. So, you know, some people it may be like, I'm not eating anything that's more than two net carbs. But other people may be like, if that's my main meal, of the day, I'm good with 10 net carbs, but it's got to be a decent size serving. I'm not talking about 10 net carbs like, you know, that meatballs that you got from them. I mean, that like two bites, but I'm curious, what is everybody's cutoff for a dinner entree for the net carb total? And that helps you when you're formulating new recipes. That's why I want to know. I want to know so that as I'm formulating recipes, like where should my cutoff be? Like dessert for me usually like is five. Like I don't want to create or eat a dessert that's more than five net carbs. Okay. So everybody's different. So I'm curious what everybody else thinks. That's neat. Okay. So let's move on. We got our list. I got our list. <laughs> um, so we talked about the keto chow contest. Uh, so another video that we're going to be filming and working on this week is we're gonna go over all of the Black Friday sales for keto. Now, I wanted I'm to so do it excited now, about that. but a lot of the companies that we have reached out to are, have asked us to not discuss what the sales are till at least Thursday. Right, So we wanna honor that. Depending on when their release days are or of when they're going to announce them, that video will come out either Thursday or at midnight Friday morning into, you know, Friday morning. Okay. So. So look for that towards the end of the week. Now I can tell you what some of the companies are. I just can't tell you what the sales are. So the ones I know of, I mean, Perfect Keto is having a sale. Okay. Um, I think I think if I remember right, Lolly's was, but I, don't quote me on that one. Uh, Keto Crate is having a great sale. If you have are on the fence about getting a Keto Crate, I'm going to tell you now. I can't tell you what the deal is. But hold off until Friday to get your subscription because it's a really good deal on your first box. Awesome. Okay, that's all I can say. Uh, keto I don't Chow, even know what it is. Keto Chow is having a good sale. I think they're announcing their sale on Monday, tomorrow, where the day you guys are watching this video. Um, F-Bomb is having a good sale. Uh, Kettle and Fire 
is oh, having a sale. I love them. So there's a few others. I just don't remember them off the top of my head. So, nice. So good things yeah, are coming, so though. We're, but we will release a full video of all of the different sales that we know of, along with all the links. And again, we greatly appreciate it when you guys use our links. It helps support the channel. Thank you, guys. Uh, but even if we don't have a link or anything with them, if we know of a sale, we will include it in that video. Heck yes. Uh, along with Thursday, Thanksgiving... We are going to live stream on Thursday. We are. So it's not going to, it's going to be in the middle of the day. What we, what do we say? Like 12? Yeah, like noon. Like noon. High noon. Like, yeah, noon. So how about like after, right around after the Thanksgiving parade, we're going to just for a little while, we're going to live stream. And the reason we get to live stream is because we celebrate Thanksgiving on Wednesday in our household. Right. It's just easier. Plus we're Black Friday shoppers. So on Thursday night, we will be going shopping. Just for fun. We want to people watch is what we really want to do. We promise not to get into any fights. Yeah. We won't embarrass you guys by being on like the network news. Yeah. So while you're cooking your turkey, watching the games, whatever you want to do, join us on our live stream at 12 o'clock. Yeah, it why not? It won't be super long. We're just going to have some fun, find out what you guys are all doing for Thanksgiving, cooking, that kind of stuff. We'll talk uh, the Thanksgiving Day parades. Who do you think is going to win the the dog show? That's a big one for me. More than the parades now, I want to see the dog show, okay? I'm not the only one out there. That dog show is awesome. Are you talking about the dog Super Bowl show? That's the Super Bowl. No, no, no. You're talking about the Westminster dog? The Westminster dog Dog show. That's true. It's awesome. Okay, so we did the live stream. We did the 12 Days of Christmas. We Oh, no, we didn't. We did the Black Friday sales. 12 Days of Christmas, starting on? December 1st. December 1st. Through December 12th, we're going to do the 12 days of keto. Yes. Each day we're going to live stream. And I think we are going to live stream, not at night, because we have things that we have to do. We want to make sure we can commit to 12 straight days of this. So we're going to live stream at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Okay. Okay. Because I was going to say... The first day of this day is a Sunday. Right, which is why we're doing it at 5 p.m. So next Sunday is going to be interesting because we've got four services at church. Yep. You have to run home. We have to film Keto on the Couch. Yes. Then we have to move this whole camera and everything to that room mm-hmm. so that we can live stream at 5 o'clock for day one of the 12 days of Keto. But it's going to be so much fun. So if you I don't, can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm excited for it. So if you don't know what the 12 days of Keto is, is for 12 straight days, we are going to live stream for just like 20 minutes or so. Yeah. We're going to talk about like some of like, you know, what we're going on for Christmas, just answer you guys' questions, just kind of chat. And we are going to feature each day one of our favorite products on keto. Yes. Along with that, we are going to give away products that that company has donated for the 12 days of keto. And there's some great prizes coming. Yeah. Now, some people have asked, like, how are we doing the giveaway? And I've worked hard on this because it turns out, and I mentioned it mentioned in the comments thing, um, it turns out some people can't comment on the live streams. Right. And we want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to win. Whether you're there to see it that moment or not. Because yeah, obviously everybody can't join us live at 5 o'clock Eastern time because some people may be working on the West Coast or be we'll just quit in your traffic. job, obviously. <laughs> so the way we're going to do the giveaway, just so everybody knows, is the live stream will be live and there's a chat. Mm-hmm. When the once the live stream is over, that video then becomes a video that you can see that shows up in your Facebook in your YouTube feed. Yes. You will have to go back and make a comment once it becomes a video, which is as soon as the live stream ends. You'll have 24 hours to make a comment on that. And then we will pick a winner from those comments the next day on the live stream. Wow. But whoever didn't win doesn't have to be sad because we'll be right into the next day of yeah. giveaway. It's going to be 12 straight days of giveaway. So these are the companies. I have a couple more I'm waiting to hear from. Mm-hmm. These are the companies that we have so far that are, have donated some items for the 12 days of Christmas. Keto Coach, Nush, Keto Chow. And the Keto Chow is if you watch the um, live stream with Chris and Miriam, that little holiday box, we've got one of those holiday boxes. How exciting is that? So uh, Lolly's Granola, Mm -hmm. theirs is really good. Oh my goodness, they're so good. Redmond Real Salt is going to be doing some stuff with us. And I'm trying to talk them into actually donating a piece of the wall, a piece of the rock wall. Aww. Uh, Perfect Keto, we're doing a... Uh, Fresh Jack Seasonings. Oh my goodness, I love this. Keto Crate. So there'll be an extra Keto Crate giveaway in the 10 days, the 12 days of uh, Keto. Mm -hmm. 
Alterna Suites. Oh. And Built Bars. What? So, and we've got a couple more companies that we're waiting to hear from, but that's who we have so far. Which, let me tell you, sir, my favorite video of the week was the one where you proved that I can actually eat those Built Bars because those are really delicious. But I was like, I was, I was sitting there watching the video myself after you released it going like, oh, please. Yeah, you weren't home when I did that. No, I was like, please let this be okay. Now, we do need to test you because the one thing I do want to say is though they didn't raise my blood sugar, everybody is different. Dang Everyone's it. body does react differently. Now, I'm also of a different opinion of a lot of people. Okay. It's, I don't mind if a product elevates my blood sugar a little bit. What I don't want to see is I don't want to see it skyrocket. Okay. So they that say a non-diabetic should have a resting blood sugar of under 100 would be a, an okay resting fasting blood sugar. Mm -hmm. After two hours after you eat, your blood sugar, if you're not a diabetic, should be under 140. Okay. So... It's at its highest, usually around the hour, hour and a half mark. And by two hours, it should start coming down. So if your normal blood sugar is 100 and two hours after you're eating, it's 140 and that's an acceptable level. If my blood sugar goes up 10, 15, 20 points at the hour mark and then starts coming back down, I'm okay with that. Now, it doesn't mean I'm going to eat it all the time. It means no. that's a product that I know is going to elevate my blood sugar a little bit. And I have to treat it as a treat. Yeah, absolutely. But it's not something that I will necessarily eliminate completely. But that's just how I look at something. Well, I mean, look at it. It's not a. It's not scrambled eggs and bacon. I right. mean, it's a candy bar. You shouldn't be eating that every day anyway. Right. And I don't want to just talk about with Bill Bars. I'm talking about with any time I test something. If I if I test something and I'm like my blood sugar goes from a 90 to 100, I'm like, okay, I got to be aware it elevated it a little bit but it's not a significant amount where I'm going to worry. I just know what I'm going to do is number one, always incorporate that with my meal, not eat it as like breaking a fast or a snack in the middle of the day. Can I just say that we've been sitting here for as long as, um, as we've been talking and I have, a, clearly a turkey on my head and you have said nothing about it. At, a, it we're at that point in our marriage where we it's are. just, you're just you're so used to it. It'd I would, be weird if I wasn't wearing a turkey I on my head. I was talking to somebody at church and I said something about, somebody had made a comment about the way Rachel was dressed and, and I was like, clearly, I have no control over the way this woman dresses. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Whether she's wearing a dress She's wearing a Star Wars outfit or she's wearing a turkey on her head. I have no say. She will come to me and say, how do I look? I will say, you look fantastic. And five minutes later, she's not wearing that anymore. Right. It's useless because I, I will change my clothes like a million times. It's true. It's crazy. But um, it was funny. So we were cleaning up after the last service and our pastor just kind of tucked his head in and he goes, just wanted to get one last look at that turkey because... That's it till next year. I won't be seeing that turkey anymore. And I was like, oh no, because next week starts the Christmas season and I'll be wearing insanely crazy Christmas hats. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it though. Um, let me just check our thing. We did Thanksgiving. We've talked about, I think we've talked about everything on my list. Yay! So before we get into the questions and comments... Um, Christmas ornaments. You have some mail. I got some and mail today. I've can you please save the one that's today. going to make me cry for last? Yes. And so you guys have, oh, I'm sorry, I just bumped our camera here. Um, you guys have sent us the most fun, encouraging letters along with these gorgeous, yes, you are. fun ornaments. So thank you for just making our day, your kind words and encouragement. I do want to say that means so much. Our Rachel's mascara budgets had to like triple because she keeps reading these things and then she cries and she has to reapply her mascara. I just love you guys so much and you have really become part of our family. So when somebody that's like, you know, you you only kind of interact with them through comments or in the Facebook family group or through text messages or Instagram. And then all of a sudden you get to like touch something that they touched. Yeah. It's just such a precious thing. Yeah. I just love it. And it really reading these, these letters that you guys are sending and looking at the ornaments and the meaning behind them. It really is just 
ceiling in concrete of why we're doing this. Yeah. It just makes us realize this is why we're doing it. Not for an ornament, but to read the stories behind the ornaments. Yeah. Now, before you even open that up, and if you are new to our channel, because we do have a bunch of new people. And there's still time to get your ornament yes. in. So, and even after that day, we will still continue to put them up there. Yeah. So what we're doing is on December 5th, and I think that will be the live stream for that day. We're not going to do two live streams that day. Oh, yeah. No, that'll okay. be it. So on December 5th, we're going to decorate our Christmas tree live. Yeah. And what we're doing is the only ornaments that will be on our Christmas tree, and we just got a new one from Costco. $250 tree. And But it was on sale from $350. Yeah. And it's really pretty. It's a gorgeous tree. It looks like a real tray. Yeah. Like, you didn't even have to fluff it. But, so anyway. And we have the dog gate up to yes. try to keep Tabitha out of it. That's right. So, um, if you're new to our channel, what we're doing on December 5th, we are going to decorate our tree live. The only ornaments that are going on the tree are ornaments that you guys send us. Yep. And we've gotten a bunch of ornaments and we're really excited about them. And it doesn't matter if it's a store-bought ornament, if it's a craft, if it's something that your grandchildren drew on a piece of paper, yes. if it's a piece of popcorn hung on the string, it's really just this tree is representing what you guys mean to us. It's bringing you guys into our family and we're super excited about it. So yeah. if you would like to send us an ornament for the tree, um, you can send it to the address down below. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of, we're as we get them, we're going over them on keto on the couch or during different vlogs that we've had. You're already crying. I'm already crying because I love <laughs> Love you guys so much and i'm just like it's just it's such a precious opportunity to be able to like share this season with you guys it really is and then what we're going to do is on december 5th we're going to pick out our 10 favorite ornaments not just based on like how does it look mm -hmm. because sometimes some people have sent us duplicates of somebody else because of a meaning behind what they found like yeah. an avocado or something like that and that's awesome it's not just the ornament but it's also some of we're going to pick it. Maybe the ornament is kind of basic to some people, but the story behind the ornament moved us. Yeah. So we're going to pick our favorite 10 and then we're going to let you guys pick what the best, say, two or three are. And yeah. then the winner is going to get a little something from us, a little gift from us. Exactly. So, are you ready? I'm totally ready. OK. All right. We have a bunch of them, so we got to get through these. All right. So this one. We're already 35 minutes into this. Sorry. This one is coming from Miss Lisa. She says, Dear Joe and Rachel, I hope this package finds you all doing well as we come upon the holidays. A little background on your ornaments. My mother-in-law and her lady friends enjoy a glass of wine or two in the evenings. I had made the suggestion to find a craft to do with all their leftover corks. Lo and behold, to my surprise, I started receiving bags and bags of corks. After looking online for ideas, I came up with Rudolph and Clarice Reindeer. Hopefully they make it to you intact and that you enjoy them on your very special tree. I'm looking forward to December 5th. Merry Christmas and God bless. And you have got to see these adorable ornaments made out of... These things are awesome. Mama's Corks. We have to go get, you're going to have to, you have to, I have a new lens. So you're going to have to learn how to work with this lens. So These that one, awesome. so that is, I think that one is Rudolph. While you are unwrapping these, the live stream is going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern time on December 5th. Okay. That should give most people a chance to get home from work and that kind of stuff. All right. And or then, maybe we should do it a little bit later. And no, I guess it's going to be a longer live stream, right? So 8 p.m. And here is Clarice. How adorable is this? Adorable. I'm loving this new lens. Of course, it makes us look really blurry, but it focuses on it. Hey, that's all right. Shout out to Nick, Anthony's friend, who kind of told me what lens to buy. You don't want to know how much that lens costs. No, I probably do not. Almost as much as the camera. Will it make me look cuter? Yes. Everything makes you look cuter, though. I will take that. Although, I don't know how much cuter we can make you. There's a guy that knows <laughs> how to butter his wife up. Okay, so this one is for from Christopher um, Slapstick. 
Yeah, hit a pole. Yes. I it's... love that. Christopher hit a pole. So he says, thank you for all the keto goodness the past few months. Hope this works on your tree. Are these all from Christopher? Yes. Okay. So he's got bacon. I'm totally going to like, look at this little heart, like a heart frame. It says, you're the bacon to my eggs. I love that. You're the bacon to my eggs, baby. By the way, did you see the picture I sent you? I ordered those Crocs. Yes. Can you show them? Do I'll you have put the picture? a picture up here. Somebody in our Facebook group put it up and that these Crocs that have avocados all over them were $25 on Crocs.com. Oh my God. And then I found a $15 off of coupon. And so I'm like, oh, $35 for two pairs of Crocs? Yes, please. They're practically paying us to take Hopefully them. Hopefully I bought you the right size. I looked at your other ones. Oh. And you have a women's 11, men's 9. But you normally wear an 8 women. So they must run really weird. So I, I bought know. based on the same exact size you have in there. I have giant feet. I have like two But you pennies. wear like an eight and a half women. So why does it say 11 women's on the Crocs and a nine men, but they fit you? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Okay. So this is also from Christopher. The guacking around the Christmas tree. That is awesome. Focus. There we go. Adorable. I love, I love that one. I love them all, actually. And I think there's one we more We have to there. get a bunch of those hangers. Yes. I was looking at, somebody had um, ones that... It actually spins the ornament. That was like totally next level. And then you want to push, I'm show this that one up, up there. This one is awesome. Bacon and eggs. Boy, I don't know. I mean, we have a lot of glass ornaments. They're gorgeous. We've never been able to be trusted with glass ornaments. You guys have more faith in us than we have in ourselves. We're going to shellac these guys. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What else you got? See. We've got. I'm trying to make sure I got, went over everything. I think I did. So we got. This one is from Anne. Love Miss Anne. I'll let you hold that. Am I showing it while you're pulling out the Yeah, you can show them. There's so, two actually. So Anne picked out this other one. I love the fact that you guys know us so well that like we're all about I, I the actually, bacon eggs. I actually like when we have like more than one of the same ornament because there's two of us. That's right. So, so it's like we can actually like I actually want to write like each person's name that gave them to us on the back I'm going to. when we can I'm going so to that be... we can look back next year and remember like Anne gave this to I'm us. I'm going to be catalog gave this to cataloging us. all of these this week. In your computer or by paper? No, it's going to be in the computer. So it says, Dear Joe and Rachel, wishing you all the joy and wonder of Christmas. We are sending a couple of fun ornaments for your keto tree. Thanks for all you do to help us on our journey to better health. Lots of love to both of you um, and your family. God bless Anne and Lynn. And then she's got like all of her handles because, oh my goodness, we, we love her. I love this thing. And you're the best. I love this thing. I know the bacon because you actually have a Lo shirt that I have says a shirt that. Like that. And that shirt's got so many stains on it, and you can't find the new one. I've been looking everywhere for that shirt. You know that okay, that, that one we got years ago at JC Penney when I first started keto, right? It said three years ago. Yeah. So surprised it lasted that long. Yeah, my shirts usually don't last very long. All right. Well, you're putting that one away. I will read this next one. Comes from Sylvia. Dear Rachel and Joe, the two of you with your ideas, you got me into doing crafts again. Last time, I think I made something crafty was like 15 years ago. And we got married, after we got married, my husband had a genius idea that I would really enjoy scrapbooking. Every husband thinks his wife will love scrapbooking. Okay, confession time. Scrapbooking. I actually have tried scrapbooking. Well, I think we tried scrapbooking when you and I first got married. I'm going to need your man card. That lasted about two days. Well, I was trying to put together stuff. Like, it was a present for you. Remember, like, all of your articles that you had done? I cut yeah. out all of her articles. when we, From like the newspaper. A, it was like a wedding pre present. When we first got married, I was started working on it before. I took all these newspapers that she had written articles for the Washington Post and the Sun Sentinel. I was doing scrapbooking. And then... Halfway through it, and I'm like, I'm just cutting the articles out and sticking them in an album. You like, just, I'm not doing all these little just, cutout and circuits and everything else. We just totally rage quit that hobby. Yeah, we did. Um, and yeah, but like a lot of people, I guess I have the the look of someone who would like scrapbooking, but like I just. I think we have a few scrapbooking kits still from the man, never finishing them. I want to be that person. Like, I want to be that cool, crafty person. And I mean, have you seen some scrap? Bookers, like their books are amazing. We 
just saw that commercial. What is that com- that new company, that new gift box company that's kind of like Keto Crate, but it's for crafts? What was the name of that oh, thing? Yeah. It looks cool. I don't remember the name of it, but it's like a gift box or a subscription box that comes to you. And every month, it's a different craft. Like one's like make a blanket. One's like do crochet. One is needlepoint. One is make a Santa Claus Mickey Mouse. I would sew my hand to the box, probably. I was going to order for her as a gift. And she was like, I, she saw me like looking up the on the website. She's like, do not order that. Nothing will look right. You guys saw that I sewed Mickey's butt closed. I sewed his butt closed. Okay, let's get back to... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to knit a hat. Okay, so um, so Sylvia said, he got me all this stuff, and yeah, I made a whole one scrapbook. Because yes. Better than us. Exactly. Like, well, you are actually... If you create, if you completed one whole scrapbook, you are one-fourth more than me, because I did like three-fourths of a scrapbook. I would and say if you completed quit. an entire scrapbook, you're probably better than 95% of the people who actually start scrapbooking. Yes. Serious. So this man, now after 15 years, he knows better. Anyway, few years, a, a few weeks ago, I saw this post on Facebook and it looks so easy. And I thought I can make a few of those ornaments for your subscriber tree. Well, hold on. Let me go back a few weeks more. First, I wanted to purchase or make a liverwurst ornament. She would not do that to me. Would you do that to me? No way. Unfortunately, could not find any made ones. So I went to Michael's and wanted to buy stuff to make this ornament, but the checkout line was huge and I just gave up. That's the problem with Michael's. Luckily for you, Rachel. And then I saw the Facebook post with the cinnamon sticks and was like, hmm, I can glue three sticks together and dress them up. So I did that. I hope the ornaments will last the trip from California to Florida and you will be able to display them on the tree. Be gentle taking them out of the packaging because the little stars are sticky on the back. It took half of a Sunday, some sweat, cursing, and lots of glue to get it all together. But I have to say, they turned out pretty nice. And they really did. They're super cute. Rachel and Joe, you are truly awesome human beings. Caring, loving, honest, and hilarious. I'm happy I can be part of the community you created. Sending lots of love and hugs and wishing you and your family a very Merry Christmas and all the happiness in the new year. Love, Sylvia. Sylvia, we love you. You you just make life so good. And look at these beautiful, and I mean, they smell incredible ornaments. So she's I got, love the smell of cinnamon. She's got Joe. There is Rachel. Rachel. How cute is that? And here is Tabitha. Look at Tabitha. Don't call her. Oh, sorry. She got fixed this week. She got fixed and yeah, I was like, oh cool. She was like kind of like mellow for about six hours. Like a nanosecond. They gave me the painkillers for her and yeah, we gave them to her the first day and then after that she was like just running around like, yeah, nothing's bothering me. And then look at this beautiful Christmas tree she made. This is awesome. That is, it smells incredible. Like I just want to I just want to open up this box and just like make the house smell like Tabitha, this. Tabitha, you don't knock over the camera. <laughs> she heard her name. She's like, mm, is there an ornament for me? She just spilled my drink. Oh, and she knocked the camera. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, put her away. She needs needs to go night night for a second. Just a little bit. All right, so this one comes from K-Dub in Kansas. It says, Dear Joe and Rachel, Happy Turkey Day, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. In this box, you will find something a little bit country, something a little bit Christmassy, something a little bit fun, and something of a little Kansas spirit. Go Jayhawks. Couldn't resist. I'm old school and never liked having my picture taken, so don't have any before pictures to show you. But since I started keto in April of 2018, I am down 117 wow. pounds. Wow. I am 61 years old and have always been overweight, just like me. Well, I'm not 61, but I'm heading in that direction. In addition to the weight loss, I have never felt better in my life. 
I have so much energy now. It's amazing. One of my patrons refers to me as the vanishing librarian. How cute is that? I truly enjoy your videos. You are both so inspiring and fun to watch. I live in a small Kansas town, so not very many keto options available at the stores. However, I did find a store in Wichita, Kansas that sells the Rebel and Enlightened ice cream. I found both brands to be so yummy that I must now look the other direction and speed by that store. This is this is this is me. <laughs> Looking forward to watching your future videos and especially your tree decorating. I already know I'll be chuckling. God bless K-Dub in Kansas. Thank you, K-Dub. And wait till you see. This is amazing. These are awesome. All right. So look at these. These, these are a little these. bit country. Those cute. Here's something that's a little bit Christmassy and it's S for Stauffer. Here is something a little bit fun. Socks. We got socks. These are Rachel's and these are for me. Although I think I'm going to keep them both. You bet not. And I think this is something with a little Kansas spirit. Look at how cute. It's like a ticket. It's like a ticket. That's awesome. To a Kansas game. Jayhawks. Go Jayhawks. Awesome. This is incredible. So we have one more. And Joe and I fought over who was going to get I don't to read this to letter. Read, I think you should let me read this. You are not going to get through this one. I'm going to get through this hide one. this one. I'm, don't show this yet. It's This is so incredible. I mean, it, this is just precious. This is Okay, first of all, telling you now, pause this video. Go get some tissues. You're going to need tissues to listen to this. Because I was telling somebody about this at church. Didn't even have the letter with me. And they were on the floor bawling, crying, hearing the story. And I didn't even have, like, the letter with me. This is so precious. This is why we have this channel. Susie in Las Vegas, we love you. I cannot wait to meet you. We're going to meet, lady. Like, I I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm getting my hug. <laughs> Um, so dear Rachel and Joe, this is very long. I apologize in advance. I found out about your channel just before KetoCon. I was too shy to introduce myself there, but it was thrilling to see all you keto celebrities in person. Maybe I'll be braver in Salt Lake City, but I doubt it. We're going to meet. This is happening. <laughs> I went home and watched every video in order and loved you more with each one. Your channel is my absolute favorite. You two are always so cheerful and upbeat and kind and generous. Plus, you crack me up every time. Enclosed is a wreath ornament, which I'll have Joe show you guys. Um, the ornament looks perfectly ordinary. Nothing special from a kit. But it's far from ordinary to me. Extraordinary, in fact. And here's the story. I've eaten low-carb keto since 20, uh, 2004. So, wow. wow. Amazing. I started on Atkins, but always ate higher fat and always kept my carbs under 20 total. We didn't know about net carbs in those days. I was hooked when my IBS and morning backaches cleared up almost immediately. Plus, I lost 65 pounds, always a bonus. I've been in maintenance since 2006 and will never eat any other way. My husband, a brilliant scientist, scoffed at my insistence that complex carbs turned into sugar in the body. He was a walking sweet tooth in those days. But at my request, he read Gary Taub's Good Calorie, Bad Calorie from cover to cover, and he was in. Yay. End of the story, right? Not quite. Here's a benefit of keto that too few people talk about. Sadly, in 2005, Dale developed early onset um, Louis body dementia. He was 58 years old. The next 12 years were hard, no doubt about it, but my beautiful boy was always happy and fit and his dementia progressed much more slowly than most. I absolutely positively credit keto for that. I'm convinced that dementia definitely is diabetes type three and that cutting out sugar and grains and eating lots of good, healthy fat is the best possible treatment. There is no cure, but anything you can do to hold it at bay is a blessing. And even though by 2016, Dale couldn't, didn't quite know who I was and had trouble with activities of daily living, he still liked to do arts and crafts with me every day, like the little ornament I've sent you from a kit I bought. It was heartwarming. I was heartwarming and heartbreaking and kind of a miracle to watch him slowly, carefully follow my lead and create it mostly by himself. I would love it if you could hang. So close. <laughs> I would love it if you could hang Dale's creation on your wonderful subscriber tree to remind us all that keto is good for so many other health benefits and not just weight loss. 
Dale's passing was completely unrelated to dementia. He had a sudden massive subdural hematoma in 2017, probably from a minor fall. And we were married 45 years. I miss him every day. Thank you, too, from the bottom of my heart for everything you do to spread the word in such an honest, informative, and charming way. With much love, Susie. P.S. I made a conscious decision not to join Facebook, like like Anthony and Caleb, uh, when it first came out or any other social media, but I'm sure your family group is a wonderful, supportive place. I hope you'll consider me one of your family, even though I don't participate. I watch YouTube on TV. I'm old. <laughs> So, so that's the ornament from Dale. And it really does sum up why we have our channel. This is very precious to us. And we are absolutely honored to be able to put that on our tree on December 5th. And to say you are part of our family is an understatement. Like we, we really cherish your friendship and thank you. And all of you who have subscribed to our channel and shared your journey with us, we do not take it lightly that, that you have um, trusted us with your story. And we want to just continue getting the word out about keto. We would love it if more people would be able to um, add longevity to their life and also improve the quality of their life. Mm -hmm. um, any way that we can help in that we would like to do that and as 2020 um comes into to view here it's it's not lost on me that this is going to be a year of vision you know for us that like we're very clear on what we want to do and that is um just forward this message of of keto and also you know that that people are loved and precious and and worth the the time and energy investment that they're going to put into themselves right. you know as they get healthy uh with the help of keto with so. that let's do our comments yes since i am so we have involved. a bunch of comments we're going to try to get in the room quick because i know we made this a long video because we had so much to talk about but we were excited this week so, so. excited okay it says uncover the camera okay so we have a subscriber of the week. Uh, subscriber of the week is Melinda. Hey, Melinda. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Melinda's pictures up here. She said, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Melinda, I'm 40, a wife of 20 years, a mom of two girls who are 12 and 14. I've been very heavy my whole adult life. I've had fibromyalgia for the last seven years. In July of 2018, I'd had enough. I was the heaviest I'd ever been at 280 pounds. I couldn't even walk to do my shopping. I was miserable. I have a good friend who just lost a ton of weight doing keto, so she coached me through it, and I've lost about 90 pounds. Wow. It's up and down, LOL. I know I, 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 I know. kill it at the gym five days a week. I now kill it at the gym five days a week and lead a very full life. My fib fibro is about 90% gone. I have very little symptoms from it anymore. Wow. I have to admit that I've just recently found Two Crazy Keto's YouTube channel, and I've been binge watching. I love you all. Oh. So there's her before picture. Okay. And there's her. Oh, after. my Lord. That is amazing. You look gorgeous. You look amazing. Incredible. And I'm so excited for your kids too. Yeah. Because they're still young. Yeah. I mean, we weren't we get getting to be there for them. We weren't getting healthy until we our kids were We didn't get healthy older. until our kids, like, what, the youngest one was, what, 16? Yeah. Caleb was, what, 16 when I started. Man, and so. you, you need energy to keep up with teenagers, yo. Yep. It's a thing. Okay, so comments. Rachel wrote. Hey, Rachel. I don't own a scale. <laughs> I've learned to live and love myself in my own skin and not be so hard on myself. So the changes I make are the changes I feel within. Life has been better by not focusing on a weight plate. I am enjoying this No Way November. I'm not. This is the last, this is the last this keto is the on last the couch week. of it. But yeah, it's, and you know what? I feel like without it, I've been better about sticking to the plan. Well, my thing is, is I'm not, I know I'm up in weight from trying all of these recipes and I can tell by the feel of my clothes. I don't know how much, but it's probably a good thing. Coming December 1st, I may not want to get on that scale, but I'm going to be good this week, even with Thanksgiving. I love it. Okay, Donna wrote, hey, Donna. my husband calls Thanksgiving a pre-Christmas dinner. <laughs> That's Probably accurate, right? It's like appetizers for Christmas. 
Uh, the lion's share wrote, Joe, no, no, no. Thanksgiving is the only holiday that isn't secularized and an awesome time to stop with your family and give thanks to the Lord for his blessings to us this past year. While I know you probably live a life full of Thanksgiving, please don't minimize its importance in our uh, thankless society. That's very true. You're absolutely right. And I agree. And I joke with it. I actually, I love Thanksgiving because I just like getting together with the family. Yeah. There's, you know, you just relax and you're able to just rest and have a good time. Even with Christmas, you're busy with like opening the presents and cleaning up afterwards and moving things around. But Thanksgiving, you're just enjoying yeah. the day. And that's, I mean, and it's not even for me, like you, like she's talking about the secularized, which I really do appreciate. But at the same point, it's like, you're right. Like Christmas is, I feel like, it's it's a day of work It is because you have to open the presents and then the work to get to it and wrapping the presents and the shopping for the presents. So it's like on Christmas, like, I don't even want to see you. I mean, it's like open your presents and then leave me alone because like I'm tired from preparing for Christmas. You know, um, one of our favorite movies is Yours, Mine and Ours, the original Lucille yes. Ball version. And it, man, you know, it, when they it, get married, when they get married and they have that first Christmas and the dad has not gone to sleep because he's still putting bicycle bicycles together in the closet. I mean, I'm like, that was Joe. It now was like, that the kids are older, it's a little more fun. Cause for, we were telling minute. somebody the other day that like for us Christmas now, it, the enjoyment is more like watching our nephews because yeah. our nephews are little, our kids are older. They're usually going buy their own Christmas presents. We give them money, go buy what you want and wrap it. And then like, let us be surprised when you open it on Christmas. <laughs> One of us will be surprised. <laughs> but yeah, Thanksgiving is just a time to relax and do nothing. The biggest problem with Thanksgiving is I fight with Rachel's mom over who's cooking, me or her, because I like doing the cooking. Yeah. So, um, TC wrote, Hey, TC. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited for that our highs are going to be in the 40s this week. 68 sounds like a dream right now. I love the ornaments that you guys are getting. Your tree is going to be so cute. South Korea was great, and you're going to love it. Oh. They've been to South Korea and they have 48 degree weather. Yeah, I'm I know. super yeah, jealous. Yeah, we're back up into the 80s. So like the 68 was very short lived, like a day. Please bring it back, Lord. So if, if you uh, didn't see the kid on the couch last week, that is our dream vacation is to go to South Korea. One day. It's going One to day. happen. Just a girl wrote. Hey, just a girl. You're a Saint Joe for taking all of the customer service calls. Lucky Rachel. Heck yes. I am still fighting with a couple of them. There's There were some doozies this week. Yes. Gail wrote. Hey, Gail. I have AT&T and I think all of these companies are a scam. I agree. She said, yes, Joe, please shave off your hair. I think you would really look younger, the beard. Uh, there's a lot of comments about the beer. They're coming. Don't worry. Excited for these upcoming recipes. I've laughed so many times during this keto on the couch. Aw, awesome. Rachel wrote. Hey, Rachel. Joe, you married that kind of girl. She celebrates well. That yes, I did. You're, you knew what you were getting. I And I love it because I wake up every day and get to smile because I get to see her. <laughs> or also because you're sleeping next to somebody that's like... <laughs> Claudia wrote. Hey, Claudia. Timeshare salesmen are former used car salesmen. <laughs> I, I completely agree with that. That has to be true. She said, I know. I've bought seven of them. Getting out of them makes you want to stand in front of a light rail at rush hour. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a specific level of pain. Wow. Renee wrote. Hey, Renee. How will the 12 days work? Well, we have to be actually watching your live. Uh, like, no, we already talked about it. No, we don't. Nope. That's not fair to everybody. So, yeah, if you're not watching live, you could just catch the replay, which will air immediately after the live. And the only way to enter will be commenting on the replay. Yeah. That's the fairest way. I was going to put it like in Facebook, but some people don't have Facebook. We were going to put it like into the, um, what is the community section? But I was afraid somebody would miss it there. So best thing is the live shows up as a video. As soon as it's over, it shows up as a replay. We will actually change the thumbnail from the normal live to like what day it is, day one or whatever. I'll make a thumbnail for each day and you'll just comment on the replay. Uh, Sherry wrote, are you going hey, to be Sherry. doing the live on December 1st during the day? Uh, we said that we're going to do it at five o'clock Eastern time. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause there's a couple days where we have meetings and stuff, but they're not until seven. So that'll give us enough time to get the live and then still get to our meeting. And then run to the meeting. Yep. Um, I watch you guys a lot at work and I don't want to miss your December giveaways. Love you guys. Love you. We definitely are not going to let anybody miss it. Uh, Bambi wrote, hey, please Bambi. no live giveaways. 
for some reason, um, comments are not available to me on the lives. I've searched for what to do, but I haven't found an answer. Yeah, no problem. Yep. And so even if you happen to catch the live, um, make sure you go back in and comment on, on the, the replay. video, yeah. on the replay. Because the unfortunately, the chat section of a live does not transfer over to a comment section. And this is the best way. This is the fairest way we were able to figure it out. So. Yeah. Um, Julia wrote. Hey, Julia. Talk about cottage cheese. That cottage cheese sounds so good. It is good. I miss cottage cheese. Rachel, I love your fun personality. Thank you. That turkey hat is a hoot. <laughs> Hope you don't mind this thing. <laughs> you guys make my Monday so much better. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, Julia, for tuning in. Uh, Ellen wrote. Hey, Ellen. Or is that Eileen? Um, wrote, I need that cottage it's cheese. Ellen. I love adding spices for a savory cottage cheese. I have never even thought of that. I never did either. And I read that and I'm like, I am going to try that. What flavor? Yeah, because especially this because it's so high in fat. Oh, now I'm excited. Yeah, we got to try that. Thank you, Ellen. Uh, WG wrote. Hey, WG. It also has live cultures which eat up the carbs, so you're actually eating fewer carbs than what it says. Yes, I know that, but that's what I like. I like the fact that it's already low, and then knowing in my mind I'm actually eating less than it actually is indicating because it's live cultures. Less carbs, and now a possibility for a savory one. Like y'all are making my day. Yeah. Uh, Maximum wrote. Hey, Maximum. You know what I love? Hot dogs and cottage cheese. Oh man, so good. I have never tried that. I have not tried that. And I Do have, you eat it like beans and weenies? I don't know, but I took out a package of hot dogs from that we got from US Wellness. I you, took them out of the freezer. To and eat them I'm together? I'm going to try the hot dogs with cottage cheese because that sounds delicious. <laughs> Cheryl wrote. Hey, Cheryl. Joe, I would rather eat cottage cheese than ice cream. Rachel, well, let's not get crazy. Yeah. I snorted as I laughed. <laughs> you all absolutely crack me up. I haven't had cottage cheese in so long that you had me checking to see if Good Cultures brand cottage cheese is sold in my area. Is it? Whole Foods and our local gro uh, giant grocery stores carried it. So I checked it out. Good. They only had the whole milk 4%. I was really hoping for the double cream. Uh, anyway, I picked up four containers and ate a serving with my scrambled eggs for supper. Oh, I bet that's good. Oh my gosh. The cottage cheese is to die for. It is just as good as you described and better. It's seriously crazy good. And the 4% is really good. That's the one I've been eating. I mean, the 4% is just as good. And the that's carbs the blue are- label. That's the blue label. The carbs are very low on that one too. But just that, that if you can find that 6%. I have never eaten it with eggs. I bet that would be really good. Why not? It's just cheese curds. I know. I. It's what's just, wrong with me? It's just that we always associate cottage cheese with something sweet, right? You would mix it with pineapple or strawberry, yes. but it's just cheese, right? It's just a curded cheese. I got to think outside the box. Yeah. Uh, Jen wrote, Hey, Jen. I love, love, love the beard. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. <laughs> Ellen wrote. Hey, Ellen. I say shave. I don't like facial hair. Ellen. Uh, my sister wrote. Hey, Terry. Of course he was a nerd, meaning my dad. He used a pocket protector and he did the hair flip thing to cover the bald spots. Yeah, my dad had a comb over and I always swore because that if I needed a comb over, I would just shave it because I never wanted to have a comb over. That was in our vowels. Like, if he starts a part here and then, no, <laughs> divorce. She said, nothing wrong with being a nerd, though. He looked so much younger when he shaved and probably would make you look younger, too. Is Aww. my sister saying I look old? Possibly. <laughs> but, like, don't let him shave. Because then he'll have no hair and, and he has blonde eyebrows and he will just look strange. I don't know. We'll see. Jackie wrote, hey, yes, Jackie. you will look much younger if you shave it off. Give it a try. You can always grow it back. December 1st will be a good day to do it for no shit to end no shave November. You're going to look like Yul Brenner. Maybe we should do it on a live stream. Oh. I'll shave my beard off on a live stream. No. Are Why you, not? Are you crazy? How come, like, I don't get a vote on your haircuts and your hairstyles, but you get a vote on my facial hair? Because, um, girls. Look how gray it's coming in. It's time. At least it can grow back. This is only a week. I can grow that back in a few days. Let's see what everybody else says. Okay. David wrote. Hey, David. You'll look younger, but don't do it. I <laughs> shaved my beard and goatee and I have rosy cheeks. 
<laughs> my wife didn't like it, so I grew it back. See, he just grew it back. Okay. Well, I mean, if I guess you could just grow it back. Idraz wrote. Hey, Idraz. I think you should dye your beard. <laughs> I asked him. I'm like, would you ever think about dye? I guess that'd be you want weird. Me to though. dye it purple. Wouldn't that be fun? No. <laughs> Maybe red and green for Christmas. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's move on. A pal wrote. Hey, a pal. I'm with Joe on McRib sandwiches. <laughs> I dearly love them and would always order them with extra onions, pickles, and sauce in the old carb eating days. I would drive to several stores to buy them. I would too. I would buy them and then stick them in the freezer. It was like a they were like whole breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a week. Day that opening day of like McRib was just like, we're going to have a hundred dollar gas bill because he's just going from McDonald's to McDonald's because sometimes they would like limit you. It wasn't even that the McRib was great. What's great is the combination of the nasty McRib sandwich <laughs> with that sauce, the pickles and the onions. I like that you're saying that it was nasty. <laughs> the sauce, the pickle and the onions, they'll make it though. Yeah. Without that, I mean, it's disgusting. A boot, but with barbecue sauce and Anything onions will and pickles. Anything taste good with that barbecue sauce, pickles and onions. He's like, now I'd rather put some pork in an Instant Pot and keto barbecue sauce and chaffles. Huh, maybe Joe can recreate a McRib taste for a new recipe. Okay. Please. You need to do that. I know. And sometimes the way we smoke our ribs, you can pretty much have a McRib just by pulling the bone out. Well, I was going to say, and then it's actually... McRib. A rib and and not like some sort of Play-Doh claymation nonsense. Slap a cigarette. Hey, slaps it. Ew, the McRib is the nastiest food ever. Thank you, yes. It is a boiled rib-shaped patty with watered-down barbecue sauce. Yuck. I got this for you. The rib isn't even boiled. I mean, the amount of chemicals in that rib meat, I wish I could find, I forgot the name of that documentary. If anybody remembers the name of that documentary that talked about how they created the McRib sandwich, leave it down in the comments section. There was there was some sort of, um, what was it? It was like a it was a comedy that they did like um made out of tofu a turkey like shaped like a turkey but it was completely tofu like that's what the mcrib reminds me of and just the amount of salt and this i know they had to actually create like new food processes to even create the mcrib sandwich i remember <laughs> that but it does remind me remember years ago the kids went to visit my mom and they came home and were like what did you guys eat for the summer and they're like not dogs I'm like not dogs they're not dogs they're, he's like they're hot dogs but they're not hot dogs i'm like what was it called he goes not dogs i'm like who wants that? It looks like a hot dog, but it doesn't taste like a hot dog and it's not a hot dog. Why are we trying to create a hot dog out of a not hot dog? People who like the McRib sandwich, that's who's eating it. <laughs> uh, Katie wrote, Hey, Katie. McRib commercial would trigger my morning sickness when I was pregnant with my second baby. That makes sense. I've never eaten one, but the nausea left a lasting impression. So they don't even appeal to me. <laughs> They're... The barbecue sauce, the barbecue sauce, the barbecue sauce had like such a weird smell. I don't know. I liked the barbecue sauce. I I can get on board with you saying the McRib itself is nasty, but I liked that barbecue sauce. There's something weird in it's it. It's probably like eighty percent sugar. It so. smelled wonky. Um, Renee wrote. Hey, Renee. As a kid, I remember my dad being so excited when the McRib returned. He would always buy several at a time and eat them in one sitting. That was me. I remember the first and only time I tried one and was so grossed out by the odd grizzly texture. <laughs> yes, it's like all gristle. Who wants a sandwich with all gristle? Don't worry, though. It's got a pickle and a bunch of onions on it. She said, then later I watched the documentary Joe mentioned and I learned what goes into making these things. Lips and buttholes. It's worse than that. Kathleen wrote, Hey, Kathleen. McDonald's, yuck. <laughs> there is nothing but Franken food to be had. I can proudly state I have never had a McRib. That's a statement. How is the reverse diet ending up? I think I somehow missed that one. So um, what we've done is we stopped reverse dieting. We're holding steady at the calories ma we maxed out with, which is what, like 1890 for you, something like that? <laughs> yeah. And like 2500 for me. Um, pretty much holding steady. I mean, I'm gaining weight because I'm eating throughout the day doing like recipes and eating lots of like off plan, not off plan keto stuff, but like lots more sugar alcohols than I'm used to me eating. Yeah. Um, but it's not super bad, but, uh, right after Thanksgiving, starting on Sunday, we're going to start going back down. But it's perfectly timed because I want every possible calorie for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to reduce our calories a little bit on Thanksgiving. 
my plan, I'm hoping that by Christmas, I'm kind of back down to where I want to be. I'm figuring it's about eight pounds, eight to eight to nine pounds as what I'm figuring I'm up. Um, I started the reverse diet at what? 184.5. So we'll see where I'm at on Sunday. So I'm going to reverse backwards. And then that would put us right in time with Christmas being a refeed day. And then we're going to keep lowering down in January. But in January, we'll talk about January because we actually fast forgot in January. So things are going to change a little bit on the channel for the month of January. Yeah. So we're still going to have the channel, but we're going to do things a little bit different. Yeah. So, but we'll talk about that when it comes. Okay. So last one, Shanta wrote. Hey, Shanta. I've fallen off keto and I'm trying to get my life back together and get on keto and I've gained weight. But I've seen how they make wieners years back and I've never, ever, ever been able to eat one again. I just can't. I've tried and I can't. I can't wait for the live streams. I've been trying to actually catch them, but I sleep every time I want to. I want to get my keto coach so I can track ketones. I have a glucose meter from when I was pregnant and I also track food and plan meals. Hopefully with all that and fasting, I can get back on track. My fingers are crossed and I pray that I can get back on keto and stay on track. You have got this, Shanta. Like, absolutely. I mean, you know, we all know that it didn't work for me the first time. Yep. And, you know, it, it doesn't matter like how many times you fall down. It matters, you know, that you get up every time. That, that's what matters. You know that it works. You're going to stick to it. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have a cheat day. And that means for anybody. Thanksgiving coming up this week, guys. If you fall off the wagon on Thanksgiving, don't beat yourself up about no it. No way. What I want you to not do, the most important thing that do not do, do not go into Thanksgiving and say, well, today was a bad day, so I'm going to make tomorrow a bad day, and I'm going to make Saturday a bad day, I'm going to make Sunday a bad day. If you go off plan either on purpose or by accident on Thanksgiving, you move on. You finish that meal, and then when Thursday, Friday morning, you're going to wake up and you're going to eat normal. You don't need to do a 24-hour fast to get yourself back into nope. keto. Just Put it in the past and don't worry about it. That's what I did three years ago on Christmas when I, you know, you know, had that little bit on Christmas. And the next day I felt like crap. I woke up and I'm like, that's it. I didn't do a 48 hour fast. I, I moved on and we're all struggling. I mean, I don't go off of keto, but I'm struggling right now. Yeah. Right? I'm putting some size on, whether it be pounds or just fat somewhere. My clothes are tighter. But I know I'm doing the right thing, and it's just a matter of like getting back to my intermittent fasting, getting back to not eating like 50 different types of keto treats in a day, and I move on. And that's what you need to worry about. Don't worry about it. You got this. This is not a sprint. That's right. This is a marathon. This is a whole life journey. That's right. And, and we're here. So don't do me a favor. And don't beat up my friends yes. because I love you and you are going to be successful. And I just don't want you to be hard on yourself. Like Joe is saying, you know, if you have a bad day, if you have a hard day, okay. When that 24 hours is over, we go Move to the on. next day and we get right back up and keep going. And if you have a, if you have a, if you break right at breakfast and like, you know, have a slip up at breakfast, don't say the day is shot. Lunchtime, get right back on keto. Yeah. Dinner time, get right back on keto. And how we feel about you and how you should feel about yourself is not about like you being perfect on keto. Right. Like that is not a that is not a thing. If we were perfect on keto, we wouldn't eat some of the foods we eat. You know. No. But I look at it and you're like, sometimes I'm gonna treat myself to a built bar. I'm sometimes I'm gonna have like a taste of some disgusting meal plan food that got sent to us without looking at the ingredients. Yeah, there you go. I mean, and sometimes it's not in your control, right? I got served a regular Pepsi at a restaurant without me knowing. Yeah, obviously with the 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 Flex Pro, I ate some rice this week after that we didn't know two about. years like of not, you know, I had no control over that. Right. So do not beat yourself up. We love you and you have got this. And Chanta, for you and anybody else who's watching, if I don't know if you're in our Facebook family group, but if you're not, go join it. The link is down below. It's free. There's awesome people there. We try to get in there every day. Sometimes life gets in the way, but if we're not in there commenting, there are loads of awesome people. There's a thousand people in there who are active, who are who are there to encourage you to post recipes that are, that are posting things and asking you for prayer and for encouragement for them. So 
it's a great community and I know we are working hard and the people who we've asked to moderate are working hard to make sure it is a positive environment. And if you see anybody who's trying to be negative, you let us know, you let Tara or Heather or some of the other moderators know, and we will take care of it because that is a positive environment for you. And that's why we created it. Yeah. And we wouldn't ask you to like come into a space if we didn't, you know, if we weren't going to make it secure and like you, you know, where you would feel comfortable sharing, you know, your journey because it, we don't take that lightly. Like that is a precious thing. It's a privilege to, to know your story. And, you know, I've been overweight for, for many, many years and it's hard to put yourself out there socially. It's hard to put yourself out there and to share like, you know, this is my before picture. This is, you know, these are things that I struggle with and, you know, I want you to know that that we love you and you got this. Yeah. Well, that is this week's Keto on the Couch. Uh, please do us a favor. Leave some questions and comments down below so that we can answer them on next week's Keto on the Couch. And along with, don't forget about the live stream starting on Sunday. Mm-hmm. And uh, then we're going to run all the way through December 12th. Um, please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.